Hello everyone, this is Ben Ray from iPhone Builder. I wanted to share a quick scenario here with you. Um, so there may be a scenario where you want to actually grab a location, so your current location from the location widget, and populate street number, street name, city, and also state. So if I actually open up this location widget, just hit refresh one time, hit done, it actually pulls in the closest address using the Google Maps API and geocoding. Um, so it actually geo parsed out all this information here. Um, and so that's the first scenario. Um, and then again, if you actually, we have functionality to drop a point on a map at a specific location and then get that, that address. So if I open up this form here, I'll actually zoom in. I'll go down here somewhere in Miami. And I'll just drop it right here. Hit done. And what it's going to do actually is find the closest address to that, that drop point location. So maybe a good scenario if you're going out and you actually want to get the closest address and you do have connectivity, this is calling the Google Maps API from a page level function. So now I want to show you how this works. Um, so how I configured this is if I actually go into the edit of the form properties here, I'll scroll down and I'll see a function in here and I'll put the URL in this, this video. Um, but what I'm doing in here is I'm actually getting the street name, street number, the city, the state, and uh, the get the geocode JSON. So this is actually using the Google Maps API here, and you have to get your API key, which would go right in here. So and and all the way to googleusercontent.com. Um, but if you go in with a Google account um, inside of your developer account, you'll be able to see APIs and authentication. And you can just actually copy this this long string here, and that's your Google Maps API key. Um, and then once you have that, you will paste it in there and save your changes. Now inside of here, it's pretty straightforward. You actually can go into the street number field and I'm gonna go smart control and I'm gonna get street number. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking, calling this function get street number and I'm ta taking tap to get current location dot latitude. That's gonna pull in the latitude and then tap to get current location dot longitude. Now this is the data com name from this field here. Right, tap to get current location. So it's, that's the two parameters we're passing in is latitude and longitude, and based on that, we're actually pulling in the street number, the street name, city name, as well as state name, and there are a few other parameters to do. Um, now this works with both the location widget that we have here, so right now I have location, as well as the Esri widget, where it allows you to drop points on a map and, and integrate with Esri software. Uh, so hopefully this video is helpful, and this can be put to use by some folks. Thanks a lot.